Hello everyone in Cyber World, welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. And I'm Jennifer, and this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. Today's video, we're gonna show you how to make a US flag with a coin holder. All right, now um, we're going to be doing something a little bit different with this flag. Uh, U.S. flags have a very specific ratio of how wide and how tall they are. Uh, unfortunately, when you use this uh, for, to make uh, coin holders, it's not quite uh, high enough in between uh, for coins to hold, uh, to fit in. And in the past, originally coins were made about anywhere from one to two inches in diameter. Uh, in recent years, People have been able to order and make special custom shapes, uh, signs of their, their actual unit uh, logos and whatnot, and so they're not just circle. And I've seen some that are as big as four and five inches, and there's no way these coins will fit into uh, in between the stripes of a flag. So unfortunately, I've had people that ask me to, to make these, and I talk them out of it because I worry that their coins aren't going to fit. In this particular case, I had a customer that uh, requested it and he had uh, measured his coins and most of his coins uh, were maybe around two inches, possibly a little bit larger. So we went with a little larger spacing of the stripes. Uh, so it threw off the dimensions of the flag, but I suspect you might not be able to tell that unless uh, you went and measured the screen and something like that. But anyhow, it fits really well. It looks nice. Uh, and and I, I said it's a little bit wider so that the coins will fit. And so we're going to show you exactly how we do this. Let's get right into it. We begin by cutting down the base of the flag to 36 inches by 22 and 3 4 inches, which makes each stripe 1 and 3 4 inches. In our case, we cut out the stars using a laser, but if you don't have a laser, you can use a vinyl cutter such as a Cricut to make the 50 vinyl stars. There are star-shaped stickers that you can purchase, and you can even use a stencil to paint the stars. There was a little bit of scorching on the stars, so we sanded them all. We glued the base of the stars first. This was done so we could align the stripes easier. And now we cut the one and three quarter inch strips. We then applied a red mahogany stain to represent the red stripes of the flag. Our client wanted a wood that was white as possible for the stripes. 
The flag is intended to have a rustic look, so I actually used a 2x4 and kept the knots for the look, then cut it down to 1 8 inch thick strips. But we needed to do some sanding. And now we make the shelves for the coins. We cut one quarter inch grooves that were one quarter inch wide in the shelves. The grooves are off center intentionally so the coins can lean up against the back but more upright. It is now time to glue the parts together. Ideally, you would use dowels to hold wood together, but the flag base is too thin and since the shelves have grooves, it will not work. Instead, we use screws to give the shelves extra strength to handle the weight of the coins. You may notice the stripes are longer than the base of the flag. This was done intentionally. Once all the stripes were glued, we ran the edges through the table saw to ensure the edges were perfect. For this flag, we made a frame. Normally, the frame would be cut in a 45 degree angles at the corners. We decided it would be too fancy for this rustic flag, so we intentionally made a very simplistic frame. All in all, we could not be happier with how this turned out. Our client provided us with a picture and it looks incredible with the coins. So next week's video, we have no idea what we're gonna do yet, but until we meet again, bye-bye.